Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as promised in my previous home videos, I am going to be taking you through the plans for my house. Um, I'm currently sat in my bedroom right now, so you're getting a definite sneaky peek. It's not done by any means, but I have been in the house for just over a month now. <laughs> it's actually gone really, really fast and things are starting to come together, but I made a full-on Canva mood board for each room in my house before I moved in. I made Pinterest boards for every single room, every single nook, cranny, basically just everything. I thought I'd take you through the plans now so that you can kind of see the vision. I know when I did my initial empty house tour, it can kind of be a bit like, okay, how are you gonna make this pretty? Um, I know what I'm doing in my own head, but it's nice to kind of show you guys exactly what I'm thinking, what the plan is, and fingers crossed that it's actually turning out like this. I'm basically going to take you through screen recordings of my Canva profile. I'm also going to nip in with bits from my Pinterest and things like that so that you can see exactly where my inspiration has come from and basically whether I stick to it. So, here we go. So first thing is basically just the layout of the rooms. As soon as I got the plans and knew that I definitely had the house, I went straight to the floor plans and had a look at basically where I was gonna map everything out, where things were gonna go, and just kind of get into grips with what I would need for each space. So here we have the ground floor, very blurry because it's been blown up, um, very large for you to see. So as you can see, here is the hallway, a little bit of understairs storage there. Um, and then I basically mapped out where I planned on having my furniture. And for the most part, this is actually really accurate. This space is coming together quite a bit now, which is really exciting. The only thing that's changed is that I've ordered a round table rather than a rectangular one. Um, but I honestly found this super, super helpful to be able to map out what I wanted, how I saw it going ahead, just to be able to actually envisage what I wanted. This also really helped for measurements as well. I did send measurements and things to my estate agents just to make sure that any oh, any furniture that I was ordering was actually going to fit there. Um, so yeah, this is really helpful. If you are getting a place, I would highly recommend doing this. I did the same thing as well for the upper floor. You can see bedroom one, bedroom two. I was really sceptical about whether I would be able to fit two bedside tables into the bedroom. I've managed it. Uh, very pleased with that. But yeah, so again, really, really, really helpful for spacing. I couldn't recommend doing this more. I really, really couldn't. Then we come on to the mood boards for each room. So here is my mood board for my living room. So rather than actually mapping out what the room looked like straight away, I just kind of played around with the colours that I was really liking, things that I'd seen on Pinterest. So as you can see, I am a neutrals kind of a gal. It's very, very neutral, but with a lot of kind of textural things going on. This isn't the sofa that I picked, but it's definitely within the tones that I went for. Gold accents, bits of black, you'll see that more in the plans for the room specifically. Unfortunately, I couldn't actually do the artwork that I'd seen here. This is a decennial print. I don't have my prints yet for the room. I might have to do uh, some DIYs or whatever because they only go up to a certain size on decennial in some of their prints and they didn't have this big enough. But you can kind of get the gist of the colours that I want to go for here. And now I will show you the plans for the actual room itself. So here we have it. This is a mock-up of the sofa that I have actually got. It's actually downstairs now. I'm really excited about it. You will get to see it very, very soon. This actually isn't the colour of the sofa. They didn't have a picture of it online. I did order it online and it was slightly risky. I basically just edited it in Canva, lightened it up. This is why the contrast looks a little bit weird. Um, but I kind of wanted to try and make it as much of the accurate colour as I could. The rug probably won't stay the same, but this is the colour that I put on the walls. It's the Overtly Olive by Dulux. This is an Ophelia blanket by Ikea, but I don't actually know whether they've discontinued this, so I'm going to be really upset if they have. These cushions are both from Shein. This is H&M, I believe, so I still need to buy stuff like that. But you can see what I'm trying to go for. Let's carry on into the other side. So these were loads of different options for artwork that I definitely can't do, unfortunately, but oh well. So many options. <laughs> then we come on to the opposite wall. This again is starting to take shape. I basically know that I want an accent chair. I've not picked it yet. It's between this one or a completely neutrals one. As you can see, I've changed the rug here because I'm not sure what to go for. Um, some shelves, a really gorgeous arch mirror that I have ordered. And then my vision is for a big fireplace from Facebook Marketplace. It cost me about 
40 quid total, 20 quid for the frame, 20 quid for the actual cast iron cover. So hopefully I'll be able to get that look of the fireplace without actually needing a fireplace. And then this is a mock-up of a sideboard. I actually have gone for an Ikea one. And then these are what I found from Etsy. I absolutely love having personal pictures, but in a really kind of stylized way. So you space looks really stylish but you've still got that personal touch i don't want my home to feel cold um, and then we also have this gorgeous lamp that is already in my living room eee! this was made by my absolutely incredibly talented friend frankie at stirring silver it is a 1920s camera that she's made into a lamp which i am absolutely obsessed with so that takes pride of place but this again is very accurate to what it's going to look like so you get an idea Moving on to my spare room, I'm still not overly sure about this room. Um, I've been playing around with colours a lot. I kind of wanted it to be a really warm space. Uh, but I kind of figure that's going to be my main filming room. It's going to be my office. I still want it to be light and bright, but I don't want it to be crazy colourful that kind of takes away from what I'm filming and things like that. So these are some of the ideas. Lots of these textures, by the way, so the cushions and all this, literally all of these ones, are from a website called Sklum. I'd not actually heard of them before, but they have loads of absolutely gorgeous things. Lots of kind of Scandinavian, boho, uh, lots of industrial bits as well. So depending on what your style is, I'm sure they'll have something that suits your style. So these were the original kind of mock-ups, but I will take you through. So these are some of the options for sofa beds. I think I'm going to go for number one. These are all from Belliani. Again, a website that I wasn't overly familiar with, but they've got some really, really nice pieces. So I think I'm going to go for this one and then absolutely stack it to the high heavens with cushions. Uh, I think I've got more mock-ups though. So yeah, we kind of get an idea of what I'm going for. Again, very neutral. This might be really boring for some people, but I just really like my space to feel really serene and I like texture. This way as well, because I'm very much at the beginning of my journey with my house, um, it gives me an option to keep everything neutral and then spice it up with colour as I go. So I can get accent pieces, I can get different artwork, I can paint a wall later if I want to. But I know I like neutrals, it's never kind of going to go out, so I'm happy with that and then I can always change it in the future if I want to. Don't know why there's artwork on the floor, <laughs> but you get the idea. I want a really soft beige, greyish colour <laughs> on the wall. The one that I'm looking at is clear figurine. It's the one that Gemma Louise has in her office space as well and I absolutely love it. I don't know whether it's going to look more grey in my space though, so I still need to do some testers. Some Desenio prints, really hoping to do some Desenio prints in this space because I don't need them as big as down in the living room, so that should be nice. I do have this dresser and it's been an absolute lifesaver. So this I am a little bit more happy with, with the mock-ups. This is definitely a room that is not complete yet, so I'll probably keep revisiting this. And then onto my bedroom. So we'll see how this looks in comparison to <laughs> what it looks like in real life. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, not hideous, dark gray, mucky walls, horrible anymore. This is the plan <laughs> slash what's starting to happen. Um, so again, feature of Frankie's lamp. I've decided now that that is gonna go in the living room. I'm sorry, but I just need it to be seen by everyone. Your living room is where you're gonna host predominantly, people are gonna spend a lot of time there, so I really wanted it to be on show. And then again, lots of texture, um, lots more accents of black here. So, fun fact, this dressing table here is from Danelm and they're 79 pounds each. And actually, I have these ones in my room at the moment. I'll definitely show you in a vlog coming very soon. But these ones were from B&M and they were £30 each. So, for the price of two of them, it was cheaper than the Danelm one so i was really pleased with that so i really really like this kind of mood board that i've got going on and then i definitely did a mock-up <laughs> yeah so bedside tables lampshade all of that kind of stuff going on here went for a different rug but you'll see that very soon but you get an idea this is this is the color scheme this is what i'm going for kitchen <laughs> i know i've talked about plans for the kitchen it's very difficult to do a bit of a mock-up but i will also include some pictures from Pinterest here as well, but I'm basically looking to completely whitewash all of the cupboards, brighten up that space, keeping the black backsplash tile, fingers crossed if I can. 
and plaster the rest of it but we'll see but this is the kind of thing that I want to go for in that space <laughs> very difficult to do on Canva the rest I feel like I've done all right with this one not so much and that brings me to my final page um <laughs> Basically, myself and my boyfriend Paul share a Canva Pro subscription and Paul thought it'd be really nice to design his living room and um, well, I'm just going to let this picture speak for itself really. So here is Paul, definitely him, definitely his body on my sofa when I first mocked up <laughs> my living room. Um, I'm not going to leave it on the screen for too long. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see his creative input. He thought that would be really, really funny. But that is a bit of a whistle-stop tour of the space and what I plan on doing with it. As I say, things are starting to take shape, but it's kind of nice just to share the vision with you so that then when I take you through the moving vlogs and the decorating vlogs and the home decor vlogs and hauls and stuff like that, you can kind of start to see that vision take place and if you're really into that home decor content then I can provide that for you. I'm definitely trying to do this as much as I can on a budget. I like my nice pieces but I definitely don't have the budget for that. I want to keep it as cost effective as physically possible so if you are bougie on a budget then join me. Join me on my journey because sometimes it's a bit of a struggle but I am getting good at finding the deals. So that's fantastic. But I really hope you've enjoyed having a little nosy through my mood boards um, and having a little sneak peek into the space so far. The following videos will be moving vlogs and decorating and starting to make the house a home, get rid of the awful grey on all the walls um, and start bringing in new pieces and making it feel like home and making it feel very, very beautiful. Please do subscribe if you like this kind of content because there is a lot more of it coming your way. But without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!